Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty free YouTuber and I do a lot of makeup videos. And today I am maybe looking a little bit different, maybe not. I have my hair up, I usually don't have that, but today I am testing out a new thing that I'm super excited about and I'm also going to do a wear test today, so I'm going to go out and about. Um, do some grocery shopping and fix some things at home so I'm in my like fixing gear but the thing I am trying is the new Skin Realist from Nabla this is a beautifying tinted balm with hyaluronic acid microspheres and like the first I saw about this I like I need it in my life so I bought it on release date and I must, I just have to say, I bought it from Nobles own site. They are in Italy and I live in Sweden. And I ordered it on Wednesday. It was released on Wednesday. I ordered it on Wednesday and it came on Friday. They have an amazing shipping inside of Europe. Enough about that. As for right now, they have... A discount code for this on Nobles on site. I will leave everything down in the description. And the bottle, it looks like this. So I really think this looks so beautiful. It has a pump to it and I bought it in the color Fair. And they don't have that many colors, but it's supposed to... It's supposed to like fit more than one skin tone, so I really hope that this will work. So today I'm going to apply this and I'm going to fix my brows a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe putting on a highlight or bronzer, but I'm going to use this as I would use it if I use it every day. I normally don't use makeup to work and I want something to like even out my skin a little bit and just feel like a little bit refreshed so i f hopefully this would work so i'm going to put this on with my hands today and we will see i thought that i can show you like my skin now before so maybe i should get a little bit closer so this is how my skin looks i don't have much to cover i'm a little bit red around my nose i got a little friend in my forehead or beginning to a friend but other than that i don't have that much to cover I used my normal skincare routine and also an spf so that's what i have under so i'm just going to slap this on and i'm going to use my fingers so first off i think i should shake this Or maybe not. And this is 100% vegan. So okay. Now we're going to see. Take it on my hand. Or maybe on my fingertips. It, feel, it feels kind of thick. And I think this is so hard. Okay. So the color. Like first glance it looks kind of dark but it is a tinted balm so it shouldn't like cover that much but yeah this looks too dark oh. I think I got too much I think I took too much do you know what this looks I think I'm going to start on half of my face. This feels mm, too dark. Nabla, 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 nabla. And this was the lightest shade, of course. Because I'm pale as the ghost. And do you know what? I actually think this is too dark. I don't know though if it will like adapt to my skin after a while I feel like I worked it in enough now and if 
I would want more cover I could go in with the brush it says on like the packaging but if for just a light result um, the fingers are the best and like to warm up the product and do you know what I actually don't know so this is the side with the product and I don't think it looks like I have makeup on it looks really good i don't know about the color though i don't know if it is a little bit too dark but at the same time i don't know if it likes showing up too dark i don't know maybe it looks good i will put it on on the rest of my face maybe i shouldn't go in quite as heavy maybe if i just take like this I think though it's pretty like thick for being like a tinted balm. I have like a skin tint from Glossier that I really like and that is like pure liquid. It's like water almost. So this feels like a little bit strange that it is this thick. And like I usually don't like to put on I never put on my foundation with my fingers, but if I'm going to have this to work, I do not have like the time or the energy to washing my sponge and or brush each and every morning. Maybe I should take a little bit on my neck and here you can see that it is too dark. One thing that I really like about this, it feels really yellow, even though it's the lightest color. I usually have a problem with the lightest foundations that they are more to the pink, that they have a pink undertone. I think it's more common when you are really pale to have a pink undertone, but I have a natural undertone that's leaning to the warmer side. So I often have a problem with the undertone. So I guess that is good, but like I don't know. It feels like my neck looks like a catastrophe. Maybe I should just keep going. Yeah, this does not match me like at all. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm doing like this. I have so much product left, so. Is this like a fake tan? Is this like a body foundation? Okay, so, so far I haven't anything to complain about. Maybe that it is... Cat hair. It feels a little bit too dark, but now I'm taking it like on my whole... On my whole area here. But it feels a little bit too dark. I think I could mix it with some lightning drops. But like the hassle in the morning. Not looking forward to that. I don't know if you can really see how it looks. Maybe I should take down the brightness. I will film some in like the natural lighting and not the studio lights. It feels just like a tad too dark. Maybe it will sink in onto my skin. Maybe I should fix this again. Maybe it will sink a little bit more into my skin and like adapt itself. It, sh it says that an hour after first application they improve skin tone, plumping it and guarantee um, prolonged hydration. So maybe I will get back in my first check-in in an hour and we will see like how it looks. It feels really good. I don't feel it at my skin at all. And I like the like, I look really really glow and healthy so I really like that and it it doesn't cover much but it has even it out so I will get back first in an hour and then I don't know how many times during the day we will see and I the problem is it feels a little bit too dark but I will check in the natural lighting and see because the studio lights sometimes can like mess it up 
So the time is now. So it's 20 minutes to one. So we will see when I will come back. We will, as I said, go and fix some things, clean a little bit at home, do something. So I'm going to get a little warm, I think. So we'll see how that will hold up, but yeah. After the first application, I really like how it looks. It feels really good. It's not like sticky at all. Maybe a little, but not like more than I usually am when I put on my my everything, <laughs> my skin keratine. So so far, so good. So it has been a little over ten hours since I first put on the Skin Realist from Nabla and I have been outside and it has been super windy, I've been getting a little bit warm, I have touched my face as I normally do, I have lied down on the couch and now I'm going to see how it looks. The only like negative thing, maybe I should a little bit closer and lower the light so, so we can really see this or so you can really see what I see. So the only thing that I've noticed that I haven't had before, I don't know if you can see like here it is laid down in like the wrinkle here. It hasn't done it on this side but it has done it here. I need to check in the viewfinder. Other than that I think it still looks really good. And I'm happy with it. It isn't maybe not as covering like around my eyes as it was 10 hours ago. But nothing that likes bothers me. So I am really happy with this. And I am like confident that I could have it for work for a day. So... I have nothing to complain about. I think this is like what I wanted. I want to try it with a sponge and then I think I might mix it a little bit with whitening drops because it is a little bit too dark. But I think now it looks, the longer I had it on, the more it like adapted to my skin. I guess it's like sinking into the skin. So that is good and I'm really happy with it. I still have a little bit glow and it doesn't, I can't feel it in on my face at all. So I am so happy with this one. The only little pet peeve is the color and, uh, but I think it works now. It's hard to see, but like when I filmed outside, I didn't think it looked that off. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. My first impression is that I recommend it. Yeah. That was all for this video and I leave all the info about it in the description and I can link it to Nabla's own website and also this one contains 48 milliliters or 1.6 fluid ounces and that's more than normal foundation. I think a foundation is usually around 30 milliliters um, but yeah. I really like it and I will keep using this and see like how it works for me but my first impression is really good. And now I really want to go to sleep. I think you can hear that I sound a little bit tired. I sound like this when I'm about to pass out. <laughs> is it only me? But yeah, I really loved you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!